really is to mitigating the human wildlife conflict that's taking place and stop farmers finding the need to have to kill cheetahs in retribution for livestock losses. Thankfully, there's a really easy way to live alongside wildlife without losing livestock to carnivores. And this is the perfect example of how you can do that. This is our demonstration farm. And we don't just talk the talk, we walk the walk as well. So all of the techniques that we promote to farmers that they can use to protect their livestock from predation, we're using those techniques here. And we've had this farm running uh, for eight years now. And in that eight years, I think we've lost only three or four goats to carnivore. Yeah. Uh, whereas some of our neighbours are losing 10 a year. We have, coming through this farm, coming right up close to the trail here, we have jackals every single night. Uh, brown hyenas all over the place. We have been just, just a few hundred metres from here. Uh, there are leopard and there are cheetahs coming here regularly as well. And despite that, we were able to run these goats. Uh, they're out grazing every day uh, with very minimal losses. And that's just due to management just small techniques, small management techniques like having a nice sturdy kraal like this one, having livestock guarding dogs like Brenda here to look after the herd and protect them. And we use this demonstration farm also as an area to train livestock guarding dogs. So the best way to train a livestock guarding dogs is through example. So the young puppies learn from the adults and then that's a really easy way that you can train the dogs. So we keep them here from puppies from about eight weeks of age, bring them in here, the old dogs show them what to do. By the time they're three or four months old, old enough to go with a herd, we then place them with farmers that are struggling with animals in the district. And that's been an incredibly effective way for farmers to reduce their people. So they generally, on average, lose, uh, sorry, on average, they reduce their livestock predation by 76%, and over half of them will reduce the amount of animals they kill after they get a livestock. So it works really, really well, incredibly cost-effective. One of these dogs will cost you in dog food and vaccines and things only about a thousand cooler a year, but it's going to save you on average about a, about three or four goats a year that you would have lost due to predation. So it's an incredibly useful technique. And this is our, pretty much our flagship species here at Cheetah Conservation Botswana. And we're very proud that uh, since the start of our placement program, we've placed over a hundred dogs with farmers in here. So, we're very, very proud of the work that we're doing here. Something so simple, yet something so effective. And we lead by example. You're welcome to ask any questions if you like. You're welcome to go in if, if you really want trial dust in your shoes. I'm sure you're feeling particularly clean after your long, hot, dusty day. So a bit of trial dust probably won't hurt you. The dogs so these are specifically for the Yes, these are specifically cheetah conservation dogs. Um, they come in handy though, uh, for example, two weeks ago when we ran a competition with farmers in the district for the best livestock farm in the district. And so farmers can compete. So, you know, you know farmers are like, they love to compete with each other. They like to know my dog's the best because he, you know, the goat went out and had a baby in the felt and didn't come back for two days and the dog stayed with her all night. And they tell these wonderful stories that, and then sort of fight over who has the best dog. And um, the winner, the winners of that competition actually took home a goat to each from our, from our stock, which is actually really good for their genetics as well, for their herd. Yeah. And they were just thrilled with that. They loved that.